Hello everyone, this is Armin Haryan from Tork News and I have a breaking story about Giga Berlin. You know, when Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, makes announcement, they usually become some breaking stories. And just about five minutes ago, he made three tweets about Giga Berlin. And I want to read them because right now they're on my screen and I'm going to turn around and read. So, uh, Giga, he said, Elon Musk just tweeted, Giga Berlin will have world's most advanced paint shop with more layers of stunning colors than subtly change with curvature. Again, Giga Berlin will have world's most advanced paint shop with more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. That's one. Second tweet, he said, initial production at Giga Berlin is Model Y. So Giga Berlin's initial production is Model Y. And the third tweet, he said, to be clear, Fremont and Shanghai will also be upgraded over time, but it's hard to retrofit these improvements to an operating paint shop regarding the paint shop. So what we have today, you know, Elon Musk hasn't been speaking about Giga Berlin very often because Giga Berlin is at the initial stage. Not much is happening except, you know, the ground, uh, except the uh, uh, the clearing, the le leveling the ground after cutting the trees and removing some, removing some uh, uh, shrubs and ant hills and things like that. But now we have this important news, uh, something that uh, we haven't had this type of serious news about Giga Berlin coming from Tesla CEO for a long time. So he says that Giga Berlin will have world's most advanced painting shop. Now, I don't know, most advanced can see, uh, compared to um, Shanghai, Fremont, or most advanced in general. And also he said that more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. More layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. Also he says that over time, Fremont and Shanghai uh, will be also upgraded, but he said that it will be difficult to upgrade them uh, in retrofit because uh, it's their operation. Let me read that again for you. To be clear, Fremont and Shanghai will also be upgraded over time, but it's hard to retrofit these improvements to an operating paint shop. Also, he said that uh, Giga Berlin, which we already knew kind of, Giga Berlin production at Giga Berlin is Model Y. For initial production at Giga Berlin is Model Y. So Giga Berlin, when it's ready, sometimes next year, probably summer or toward the end of the next year, depending how long this current uh, stage will continue, uh, will not start producing initially Model 3 or Model S or, uh, uh, or something else. But it is Model Y, Giga Berlin will start with Model Y. And we kind of knew about this. So I think these are inter interesting developments coming from um, Giga Berlin, uh, from Tesla CEO Elon Musk. And um, what we have right now at Giga Berlin, uh, that we know that the announcement of that Tesla will build its European Giga factory at the end of last year in November, and then in early, sometimes in January or some uh, early February, Tesla started to work uh, on the 300 hectares of land that Brandenburg's uh, government gave to Tesla. Brandenburg is the, in Berlin area, the area where Tesla is building its gigafactory just outside of Berlin, about 20-25 minutes away in a small uh, municipality or town called Grünheide. And uh, so far uh, we have the area, about 90 hectares of land is cleared from trees and uh, it's leveled. And uh, Tesla was going to actually start the foundation of the building, foundation of the building. But what happened is that Tesla wanted to apparently make some changes and the government said you need to apply new papers, you need to send in new papers. And right now, as you have seen from the uh, flyover videos and drones that I sent earlier, the construction has stopped. What I will do after I finish speaking, which I'm almost done, I will also put um, at that section of that video, uh, which my friend, uh, which my friend Jürgen sent from Grünheide. I will set it there so you can see what is happening at uh, the Gigafactory right now. The construction has stopped 
the Tesla is doing new paperwork for new water consumption, which is going to be less water consumption than um, before uh, it said. And also um, government is going to look at, that, at those papers and give another, uh, another level or another uh, level of uh, approval, early approval, where Tesla can continue the work, but Tesla will continue the work at its own risk at its own risk because these are partial approvals and when the major approval the overall approval is not giving tesla runs the risk or has to revert everything to the uh, forest level which means a lot of work and uh, but everybody is positive that tesla will be given the all over overall approval despite some protests and regarding the protest we know that in Grunheide they, they were going to be actually in Erkner, which is the next town. There were going to be a town hall meeting, which would discuss the, which would discuss the, uh, uh, how do you say? You know, English is not my mother language, so this is why I'm having some difficulties. But I'm speaking you out of my heart. Uh, they were going to have the, discuss the objections that from society, from the public and local people came. There were like more than 300 objections regarding the power usage, water usage, you know, environmental issues and things like that. Uh, and the local government just last week said that still that meeting is going to take place, although it was postponed because of the current social economic situation that every one of us are uh, fa uh, facing in the world. So, but uh, after that, uh, despite that, everybody is positive. The local government fully supports Tesla because everybody is happy that such a big electric vehicle company is going to come outside of Berlin. And this is a big news for Berliners also because, you know, the automotive industry in Germany is mainly located at the south of the country, like in, in Bavaria area or in the, in toward the south. But this is going to be uh, putting changing the map of the automotive industry putting tesla right in the northern part or toward closer to the north near berlin and um, i was in berlin uh, four or five months ago and i saw how excited the population is this was before tesla made the announcement that uh, the next uh, giga factory will be giga berlin in berlin but i saw that how many like almost 30 percent of the population of berlin didn't have cars they were all on electric bikes electric scooters so uh, Berliners are very um, electric vehicle, electric mobility focused, which is which is wonderful and wonderful for the environment. Such a big city, I didn't see any major or any serious traffic because everybody were basically on bikes. I saw families on bicycles or on scooters and driving their riding their children around. But we have an important news today, which I told you that uh, Giga Berlin will have the most advanced paint shop. Uh, which can suddenly and subtly change the colors and curvature as well as the first vehicles produced in Giga Berlin will be the Tesla Model Y. Thanks for watching. Here's a little short uh, uh, footage of what is happening these two days in Giga Berlin, which is a drone flyover. And um, uh, please subscribe to our channel. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Ring the notification bell, like this video, and I will see you in our next report. Have a blessed day and stay well.